a woman of the earth. Let us gather and celebrate the beauty and greatness of Mother Nature and all the blessings she nurtures in her womb. My name is Josephine Maysake and I'm here to represent the beautiful island of Samoa. My name is Dagmar Sevilla and I'm representing the small but beautiful country of the Netherlands. I am Hannah Fitz from the tropical island of St. Lucia. My name is Shara i and representing a very beautiful city called Singapore. I'm Janos Kranowska and I represent my country. I am Chantal Karam, I'm representing my beautiful country, Lebanon. My name is Landy Tyrell and I stand here before you tonight proud and privileged to represent one of the most beautiful islands in the South Pacific, Tokelau. My name is Amen Santana and I represent the Dominican Republic. Hello everyone, my name is Talamari Sabungu and I'm proudly representing Kenya. My name is Elle and I'm representing the Flowers Island of Mar. Hello everybody, I'm Cristina Reyes and I come from a beautiful and exotic country in the center of the world, Ecuador. Hi, my name is Alexandra Brown and I represent the beautiful and tropical country of Venezuela. Hi, I'm Cynthia Canelo, coming all the way from Africa, representing the beautiful and amazing country of San. My name is Sandra Rios. I represent Nicaragua. I'm Jennifer Agas. I'm from Las Aperas, in Silanganan, Philippines. My name is Vanessa De Roy, and I represent the beautiful and enchanted island of Puerto Rico. I'm Kapuzi Katie McClure, Mulasa, Toronto, Canada. My name is Phoebe Johansson, and I come from Norway. I'm Jacqueline Passman, representing the Rainbow Nation of South Africa. Mabuhai, Philippines. My name is Naomi and I'm from Pakistan. I'm Fustin Ajwakuto, representing the Republic of Ghana. My name is Nadia Cash and I'm representing the bright and sunny islands of the Bahamas. I'm Isabel and I'm representing Belgium. My name is Kenob Wan. I'm come from the beautiful country of Thailand. My name is Emma and I'm here to represent the United Kingdom. I got boy C, Vanessa Moro, Miss Bolivia. Salamat po. My name is Nia Pearson and I come from the Rock of Polynesia, Niue Island. Akupoi si Hemi Yu. Akupoi Mla Sabansan Korea. My name is Ilhem. Mahal Kokayong Lahad. And I'm from amazing country. Egypt. Salaf Sajatra. I'm Jamie Fang and I come from the heart of Asia, Malaysia. I'm Jeanette Wonja and I'm coming from Cameroon. Hi, my name is Lorena. I'm from Mexico. The country of the tequila and the mirage. Mabuhai, Filipinas. I am Isabella. I'm from Brazil. Hello, everyone. My name is Veniti, and I represent Tahiti. I'm Irma Dima from the beautiful El Salvador. I am Shabona, representing the country of peace and love, Nepal. Akapose, Rosemary Suarez from Panama. Mabuhai, Filipinas. My name is Diana, and I'm from Slovakia. Akapoi, si Natalie Tile Bustamante. Nanangumula, Savansanang, Chile! I am Trina Adams and I am proud to represent the beautiful islands of the Turks and Caicos. Mapuhai, Philippines. I'm Heidi and I'm representing Denmark. I'm Ethan Lin. I'm from friendly and beautiful country, Taiwan. My name is Tatara Bahrami and I'm representing my beautiful country, Afghanistan. Mapuhai, Filipinas! My name is Amanda Kimmel, I'm from the USA. My name is Rebecca Kunikowski, and I'm proud to represent my home country, Germany. My name is Shana Sees, and I am Miss Haiti. Hello, everybody. My name is Li Jia from China. Mabuhai. My name is Rita Otorohti, and I come from Finland. Hello, my name is Therese Danichon. And I'm very proud to be here in the Philippines to represent my country, Sweden. My name is Sanya Shushnia, and I'm 23. I come from small but very, very beautiful country, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Konnichiwa! 
I'm from Japan. I'm Amy Suzuki. My name is Daisy Pollard, and I'm representing the beautiful island of Jamaica. I am Mihal Singh, and I come from the country of tradition, culture, and rich heritage, India. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bu Ren. I'm from Hong Kong. Good evening. I'm Tania Domaniski. I'm from the heart of South America, Paraguay. My name is Nora. I am presented Latvia. My name is Ethel Kosin. And I represent the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I'm Eliana and I'm representing Argentina. My name is Ruth Arita. I am from Honduras. I'm Sara Perez, Bolivia, Miss Peru. My name is Anastasia and I'm from Estonia. Mabuhay, ako po si Yevgenia Rudenko, mula sa bansang Ukraine. Ako po si Anne-Marie, mula sa Australia. Bonsoir, les Philippines. I'm Alexandra, I come from France. My name is Chen Chun, I'm from Macau. My name is Han Hai, I come from Vietnam. My name is Anna, I'm from Mongolia. Thank you. My name is Adina Dimitru, and I miss Romania. Hello, my name is Yovana, and I am from Serbia and Montenegro. Mabuhai! I am Lia Correal, and I represent Colombia. My name is Tiffany Pettit, and I miss New Zealand. I'm Kofusi Tatiana Yamawa, Mula Sabansa, Russia. I'm from the city. They think they are the beautiful people. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ivana Stepanska, and I represent Czech Republic. Selamat malam. I'm Jenny Sujono, Miss Indonesia. Live from the University of the Philippines Theater, Carousel Productions and ABS-CBN proudly present 80 of the loveliest women on the planet, all vying for the title of Miss Earth 2005.
welcome your hosts for this gathering of global beauties, Mr. Ariel Oreta and Miss Amanda Griffin. Thank you very much, Bell Star dancers. Very good opening number. Good evening, Philippines! Good evening! And good evening to all our viewers around the globe. With our world-renowned hospitality, all 84 million Filipino people warmly welcome you to Miss Earth 2005! Woo! I am Ariel Ureta, and with me is a young lady who traveled all over the planet and found her home here in the Philippines. A beauty that's truly world-class, Miss Amanda Griffin! Wow, thank you so much for that introduction, Ariel, and good evening again to everyone here and to everyone out there. Now, tonight is more than just a celebration of the world's most beautiful women. It's a celebration of love and mother nature and a dedication to defend and protect her gifts. I agree. In fact, these ladies, including you, Amanda, are the finest example of mother nature's gifts. Just how fine, we'll show you right here at the grand coronation night of Miss Earth 2005. Watch out for the 80 delegates as they parade in their swimsuits when Miss Earth 2005 returns. You know, even during the commercial, the excitement keeps on mounting here in the auditorium. We have a very uh, sir, big delegation from Chile. Let's welcome the group from Chile. Hello, Chile. Remember, next year, Miss Earth is going to your country. So make this one a nice farewell for the Philippines. And also, not just Chile, but every delegation. Welcome to all of you. Welcome. Our warm welcome to the world is about to turn hot and steamy as we now present 80 of the sexiest and shapeliest ladies on earth. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the women of the Miss Earth 2005 in their swimsuit parade.
Her 2005 kicked off last September 26 with a contract signed between Curacao Productions and Ponds as presenter and Hyatt Hotel and Casino Molina as major sponsor. A week later, the organizer welcomed the arrival of the major candidates. The next day, the wheel wind of activities officially started for the ladies of Missouri. For certain their agenda was a visit to Unilever, where they were given a lecture on Pond's products. Later, that same day, they made a courtesy call to the office of Manila Mayor Lito Atienza. The next day, the ladies parade in their national costume at the Colegio de San Agustin. The next day, the girls walked the audience with their beard and grace to repress presentation the poolside of the Hyatt Hotel and Casino Manila. No time to spare, the ladies went straight to their first competition, the national costume held at the Hyatt Hotel and Casino Manila. Next came the Longa competition hosted by the Rotary Club of Makati Legaspi. Elegance, style and poise filled the evening. The indie group split up to go on a tour of some of the country's beautiful islands doing various activities. One group left for Baguio, Subic and Angeles Papanga. Another left for Paxanhan Laguna, Tagaytay, and Calatagan Batangas. And the third group crossed the Philippine seas aboard the Super Ferry and visited Cebu and Bohol. Then it's back on dry land for the final talent competition at the Lakeshore State in Mexico, Patanga, where the girls showcased their talents and impressed everyone. Next day was another round of competition as the ladies paraded on their catch swimsuits for the final swimsuit competition at Crown Plaza Galleria. But the tension and excitement heated up further when the 80 candidates faced the jurors for the pre-judging. Now the ladies and gentlemen that I am about to introduce you are all Subjects of envy in their respective fields. Here are the distinguished board of judges. International performing artist, the engineer himself, and star of the world-renowned musical, Miss Saigon, Mr. Leo Tavaro Valdez. A former fashion designer whose RTW lines are carried by major department stores, the pioneer of one-stop bridal wear shops in Manila, Baroness Eva Abesamas de Koenig Swarter. Well respected TV producer, host, and actress from Chile, Ms. Raquel Argondonia. The president and chief executive of Gulf Air, Mr. James Hogan. From Denmark, Miss Earth from the year 2001, Katarina Svensson. <laughs> Director of Marketing with the Hyatt Hotel and Casino Manila, Mr. Eugene Tomasis. <laughs> Philippine Daily Enquirer columnist, owner of Urban Spa, interior designer and fashion maverick, Miss Tessa Prieto Valdez. Managing Director for Home and Personal Care of Unilever Philippines, Mr. Noel Lorenzana. An 
educator, social entrepreneur, and patron of the arts. She's the president of ESA Thames Business School and the chairperson of the Metropolitan Theatre Guild, Miss Vivian Tan. And the chairperson of the Board of Judges is a well-known socialite, philanthropist, and impresario who brought in world-class artists like Luciano Pavarotti and Andrea Bocelli to the Philippines, Madame Rosemary Baby Arenas. Tonight, our judges will be using a state-of-the-art computerized scoring system provided by Megadata Corporation. In addition, SGV and company will conduct an independent tabulation of the score given by the Board of Judges. At this time, allow me to introduce to you the officers of Carousel Productions, who in cooperation with ABS-CBN are the forces behind Miss Earth 2005. President, Mr. Ramon S. Manzon. Executive Vice President, Ms. Lorraine Shook. Vice President for External Relations, Ms. Georgie Felix Velarde. Vice President and Project Director, Ms. Pichi Venerashon. To Carousel Productions, congratulations for gathering 80 of the most beautiful women on Earth and for proving once more that Miss Earth is one of the largest and most successful international pageants in the world. and nervously awaiting to hear who's in the top 16. And of course, I am have with me here the reigning Miss Earth 2004, Miss Priscilla Morales. Hello, Priscilla. Hello. So how are you? How was it like for you when you were at this point in the competition? You know, I feel everything again. So I'm nervous like the girls. And I'm so excited because for me, it's amazing. It looked like that was just yesterday that I won and the year passed so fast and the, sh the truth is that I'd like to be Miss Earth forever. So I'm fine, I'm trying to find a, a way that I can escape with the crown. <laughs> <laughs> you want to keep the crown. All right, so what are some of the highlights from your reign for 2004? Oh, I think the highlights for my, during my year was the time that I spent here. I'm here since August and Filipino people are so kind and so lovely. And the truth is that I don't want to live anymore. <laughs> you want to live here? Maybe, you know, or can be my destination for all vacations. <laughs> that sounds good. All right, so who do you think will inherit the crown tonight? Do you have any favorites or any bets? Can I choose me? <laughs> well, the girls, they are great. They are so special. And the truth is that they are already winners because they won their own countries. And I hope that the girl that deserved the crowd you won. And the truth is that I don't know because this year is so, so hard. There are so amazing girls. But one wish them luck, a luck, just luck. That's right. There are so many beautiful girls and uh, special girls out there. So we will see if our bets will match those. Uh, we're keeping them a bit of a secret. But uh, we're all awaiting uh, the announcement of the top 16. We're now about to bid farewell to the 64 of our delegates as I now announce the top 16, we have to say goodbye to some of them. Top 16 who garnered the highest average scores in the preliminary judging of Mr. 2005. Here is the list.
The first one on my list is Miss Puerto Rico, Vanessa DeRoy. And joining her is Miss Bosnia and Herzegovina, Sanya Susnia. I'm sure you are all rooting for Miss Chile, Natalie Chile Bustamante. How about Miss Czech Republic, Susana Stepanovka? And come on down, Miss Korea, Hey Mei Yu. Ladies, show your wildest support for Miss USA, Amanda Kimmel. Still in the game is Miss Venezuela, Alexandra Brown Waldeck. Many are called, but only 16 are chosen. And one of them is Miss Serbia and Montenegro, Giovanna Banjovic. Eight down, eight to go. Why don't you join us, Miss Philippines, Genevieve Ragas. Lady Luck is on your side, Miss El Salvador, Irma Dimas. Why don't we give a round of applause for Miss Tanzania, Remini Sudi. Watch your step and walk this way, Miss Dominican Republic, Amel Santana. We are down to the final four. Ladies, all together now. Inhale, exhale. Our lucky 13th finalist is Miss Russia, Tatiana Yamova. You're still in Miss Poland, Katarina Borowicz. Taking the second to the last spot is Miss Paraguay, Tania Maria Dominitsky Vargas. And finally, we could do it. Could it be? Yes, she is no other than Miss Ecuador, Cristina Reyes. Thank you, ladies, and congratulations to our candidates who nabbed the top 16 spots. Meanwhile, here's one really hot spot filled with the natural beauty of the Philippines. Take a look. You're watching the Grand Coronation Night of Miss Earth 2005. Now I want you to close your eyes and imagine tall coconut trees surrounding warm blue seas. The majestic sun shining on the soft white sands of a secluded beach. Now open your eyes and watch 16 international beauties 
in this tropical paradise called the Philippines. I now present to you the swimsuit competition of this year's search for Miss Earth. Vanessa De Roide of Puerto Rico. Sanya Susnia of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Natalie Bustamante, Miss Chile. Susana Stepanovska, Miss Czech Republic. Korea. Amanda Kimmel of the USA. Alexandra Brown Bolde, Miss Venezuela. Giovanna Marjanovic of Serbia and Montenegro.
Genevel Ragas of the Philippines. Dimas, Miss El Salvador. Rehima Sudi of Tanzania. Amel Santana, Miss Dominican Republic. Tatiana Yamova, Miss Russia. Katarzyna Borowicz of Poland. Tania Maria Vargas of Paraguay. And Cristina Reyes of Ecuador.
did not dare close my eyes or even blink for a second during that presentation. Wow, what an eye-popping scenic view of natural beauty. And we've got some more for you folks. This time, another pride of our beloved country, the Philippines. Watch this. Based on the scores of our top 16 finalists in the swimsuit competition, we will now eliminate the bottom eight. And to hand me the list of the eight finalists is Mr. Ramon Dizon of SGB. Thank you, Mr. Dizon. From here on, only eight will go on to the next level of competition. Ladies, are you ready? In no particular ranking, the top eight finalists are Miss USA, Amanda Kimmel. Let's make way for Miss Paraguay, Lia Maria Davidivsky Vargas. How about Miss Dominican Republic, Amel Santana? Join us, Miss Serbia and Montenegro, Giovanna Marjovic. We still have room for Miss Puerto Rico. You are one lucky girl, Miss Poland. Katarina Borowski. Just two more, and you're in. Miss Chile, Natalie Chile Bustamante. One more name left, and that happens to be Miss Venezuela, Alexandra Brown Valde. Thank you, ladies, and to our top eight finalists, congratulations. Amanda. Now, those must have been tough choices for our judges to make. I had one or two favorites that I thought would make it, but they didn't. Now the competition heats up even more when the top eight finalists undergo a casual interview, this time with the questions coming from eight Filipino celebrities who have all gained international recognition. That's coming up next. Meanwhile, let's take a quick look at this beauty.
from 80 to 16. And now, down to the eight best. It is time for our casual interview with the twins. You see, the questions will not come from our board of judges, but from eight Filipino personalities who have all made their marks in the field of sports, politics, entertainment, locally and internationally. So ladies, here's how we will conduct our casual interview. I will ask the girls to pick a name, then the celebrity you picked will ask your question. Let's begin with Miss USA, Amanda Kimmel. Okay, Miss Amanda, your question comes from uh, the champion at the 2004, 2004 International Rep no, 2004 International Public Speaking Competition held in London, Miss Patricia Evangelista. And here is the question. Good evening, Miss Earth candidate. This is your question. What do you want to tell the youth of today about their future? Mabuhay, Filipines. I'm so glad that I got this question because in my country, um, I've been bringing environmental education to the youth, and I believe that the youth is the most important thing we have because they are the future. And if I could tell the youth one thing for the future, it would be never to give up on your dreams because anything impossible. And this is one of my dreams, and I made it possible, and I want to share my story with all of the youth of today. Mahal Kokayo. Thank you for listening. And Mabuhay to you too, Miss USA. Thank you. Next we call on Miss Paraguay, Tanya Maria Vargas. Pick a question, please. The personality to ask you a question is Mr. Manny Pacquiao. International Super Featherweight Champion and four-time World Boxing Council Champion. Here is your question. Good evening, candidate. This is your question. How can you be a true champion in preserving our environment? ¿Cómo podría un campeón conservar el medio ambiente como él? Magandangabi. Un campeón es una persona que tiene espíritu de ganador. A champion is somebody with a winning spirit. Esa persona es alguien que quiere el bien de los demás. He's somebody that wants the good will of other, for others. Nosotros, como humanos, debemos respetar no solamente a unos a los otros. Ourselves as human beings should learn to respect each other. Debemos respetar también los animales las plantas y los minerales. We should respect animals, plants, and minerals. Es por eso que un ganador siempre quiere el bien de los demás. So that is why a champion always wants what's good for everybody. Eso es lo que le hace ganador. That is what makes him a champion. Magandang gabi. Now we call on Miss Dominican Republic, Amel Santana. Amel picked Melanie Marquez, the 1979 Miss International for the question. And here is your question. Good evening, Miss Candidate. This is my question. When you wake up tomorrow morning, what is it that you wish to end or disappear from this earth? Cuando te levantes mañana por la mañana, ¿qué desearás? ¿Estar aquí o desaparecer? Mapuhay, Filipinas. Mañana en la mañana, deseo amanecer en, Fil en Manila, Filipinas. Tomorrow morning, she wishes to wake up here in Manila, Philippines. Representando a la gente filipina y dando a demostrar que debemos cuidar nuestra tierra. Uh, representing the Filipino, Filipino people and showing them that we should care for this earth. Así que todos debemos de aprender a cuidar nuestro medio ambiente y claro, Estar siempre con Dios. All of us should learn to take care of our environment and to be always with God. Salamapo. 
Next we call on Serbia and Montenegro, Ms. Giovanna Marjanovic. Take a question, please. You pick Ms. Chinchin Gutierrez, the vice chairperson of the Mother Earth Foundation and award-winning actress. Here is your question from Chinchin Gutierrez. Good evening, Miss Earth candidate. Here is your question. How can a beautiful woman like you make a difference in the world today? First, good evening, everybody. I'm sorry because my English, really. Uh, uh, I think the woman, the beautiful, can change really, really. Uh, <laughs> the can change the world uh, before first for uh, her beauty and the people must respect that beauty like first that she can do something and if she has something in the heart you know and wonderful smile and if she's uh, positive i think she can really change not uh, not the world but for the rest <laughs> thank you Thank you. See, we understood you. Next we call on Miss Puerto Rico, Vanessa De Roide. Thank you, Vanessa. And Vanessa picked a question from Miss Jed Madela, champion and perform of the world at the 2005 World Championship of the Performing Arts in Hollywood, California. Jed Madela is your question. Here it is. Hi, Ms. Earth Candidate. This is your question. If you can be a leading voice of an issue affecting the world right now, which issue would you be vocal about and why? Good evening. Buenas noches. Si podría... Si pudiese ser la voz de una causa medioambiental, ¿qué voz serías? Me gustaría enfatizar la, la educación en el ambiente. Tenemos que educar a nuestros jóvenes, tanto a nuestros adultos también. A... We, should, we should educate the youth and adults as well. A la conservación de nuestro ambiente y a poder conservarlo de tal manera que tanto nosotros y futuros, futuras generaciones podamos disfrutar de un mejor planeta. Uh, teach them, teach them to, um, regarding um, the saving of the environment because it is our future. Matutus Malinis Latin Caldicarza. Try to. Next we call on Miss Poland, Katarzyna Borowicz. You picked Sara Geronimo, the grand champion of the search for a rice, for a star singing competition. Sara Geronimo, and here is your question. Roll video. Good evening, Miss Earth candidate. This is your question. If you are to write a song about the Mother Earth, what message will it impart to the people? Jeśli chciałabyś napisać piosenkę o matce ziemi, co chciałabyś powiedzieć? Ludziom. A więc y, jeśli miałabym napisać piosenkę o matce Ziemi. If e, I would have to write a song about our Mother Earth. Chciałabym w niej powiedzieć, żeby ludzie nie zapominali o tym, że ciągle żyjemy na tej Ziemi, że nie tylko e, dana osoba sama. E, I would like to write that we will not forget ever that we are living on our earth and we are not alone. Nie możemy zapominać o tym, że nie jesteśmy sami na tej ziemi i że wspólnie musimy wszyscy dbać o środowisko, o to, żeby wszystkim nam się lepiej w przyszłości żyło oraz naszym dzieciom. We have to remember that we are not alone on this earth. We have to work all together to preserve this earth that our children can benefit from it in the future. Thank you. 
Next we call on Miss Chile, Natalie Chile at Bustamante. Miss Chile, you pick Mr. Piolo Pascual, popular matinee idol, gifted singer, and multi-awarded actor for your question. Here is your question, roll BTR. Good evening, Miss Earth Candidate. This is your question. If you were given a chance to appoint a world-famous celebrity to become the very first president of the Earth, who will you choose and why? Si pudieses asignar a una, una persona famosa para ser presidente de la Tierra, ¿quién sería? Me gustaría asignar a Mahatma Gandhi. I would like to designate Mahatma Gandhi. Because he is a person who is always concerned about all of us. Because he is a person that is very caring towards other people. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he had a motto that said that you have to be that person that you want to see in the world. And he to ask you the question, Mr. Tony Melotto is the executive director of Gawad Kalinga, a global movement that provides shelter for the poor. Here is your question on BTR. Mr. Earth candidate, this is your question. In your opinion, why are there millions of abused children throughout the globe? And what can you do about it? In your opinion, why are there so many abusados in this world? And what do you do? Yo pienso que hay muchísimos eh, niños eh, eh, porque hay muchísima intolerancia en este mundo y hay muchísima falta de educación. Es por eso que hay muchísimos niños también que están en la calle porque no ha habido educación eh, hacia los padres que ellos han tenido. Says that there is not enough tolerance in this world and uh, children don't get enough education, so there are many children that are left in the street. Eh, también de alguna u otra manera eh, tenemos que educar a los niños. Y bueno, y a los padres también para que ellos cuando crezcan sean unos futuros y buenos padres. In the same manner we have to educate the children and grown-ups so that they will be, there will be a future for everybody. Salamat po. Thank you very much, Miss Venezuela. Ladies, I'm sure most of you here and at home have narrowed your choices down a bit. How about you, Amanda? Yes, I have a few favorites, and uh, all the girls answered their questions very well, especially Miss uh, Serbia and Montenegro, who really handled herself well through that, and we did understand her. So, yeah, give her a round of applause, because that, that was a bit tough, I think. Anyway, a girl that uh, dreams of becoming a beauty queen must not only muster enough nerve to face huge crowds of people, she should also master grace and poise under extreme pressure, as just exhibited. And for all our viewers from other parts of the world, and even for Filipinos who haven't visited the beautiful tourist spots of this country, let's take a, take a look at this natural beauty called Pagsanhan.
is this country rich in pristine white sand beaches and serene, awe-inspiring sceneries. The Philippines also boasts of a colorful nightlife filled with music. Tonight, we give you a glimpse of the rich heritage of original Filipino music as sang by the Hail Mary the Queen Children's Choir, the grand prize winners of the 2004 Choir Olympics held in Germany, participated in by more than 80 countries. May I present to you the top eight finalists of Miss Earth 2005 in their evening gowns. And here is Miss Paraguay, Tania Maria Vargas. Call in Miss Dominican Republic, Amel Santana. Here's Miss Serbia and Montenegro, Giovanna Marjanovic.
Here's Miss Puerto Rico, Vanessa de Roide. Miss Poland, Katarzyna Borowicz. Here is Miss Chile, Natalie Chile Bustamante. And finally, Miss Venezuela, Alexandra Brown Baldeck. Nothing beats the sight of a lovely lady in her formal evening gown, don't you think? Well, except of course for a lady in her skimpy <laughs> swimsuit. But for me, nothing compares to this glorious sight of our top eight finalists. Except of course, if I see them in their swimsuits again. Anyway, if you want to see more bikini-clad beauties, check out the beaches of Subic, one of the top attractions of the Philippines. And later, find out who our top four finalists will be when Miss Earth 2005 returns.
you're still watching the Grand Coronation Night of Miss Earth 2005. Once again, we're about to cut in half, not the bodies of course, but the number of our finalists from eight down to four. Again, let me call on Mr. Ramon Dizon of SGB to hand me the envelope. Thank you, Mr. Dizon. In my hand, we have the four finalists who will surely make it to the finish line, but only one will be crowned Miss Earth 2005. Ladies, are you ready? Once again, not in any particular ranking or order, our top four finalists are, we begin with Miss Dominican Republic, Anel Santana. The crown awaits you, Miss Serbia and Montenegro, Giovanna Marjanovic. It's time for Miss Poland, Katarina Borovic. And before I announce the final candidate on this list, may I congratulate each one of you for going this far. Congratulations, girls. And the fourth one is Miss... Miss... Venezuela! Alexandra Brown Valde. Ladies, one of you will inherit the title of Miss Earth, and apart from the prestige of this crown and the mission that goes with it, you will return to your country with this fabulous showcase of prizes. Sometimes it's hard to believe that places as beautiful like these exist in the world. I always wonder how it is to live in a place like this, with people who have been blessed abundantly by Mother Nature, becoming the torchbearer for the preservation of Mother Earth comes with a lot of gifts. The winners will receive gift certificates from Celine, the country's leading shoe brand. The Miss Earth Air, Water and Fire winners will receive gift certificates from Alberto, shoes that fit your lifestyle. Earth, Air, Water and Fire will receive bags from Leonardo, super brand for 2005. The winner of Miss Earth 2005 will enjoy an overnight accommodation in one of Hyatt Hotel and Casino Manila's elegantly designed and tastefully furnished guest rooms with breakfast at the popular market cafe. The winner is guaranteed to experience an unparalleled level of service and comfort. All the winners will receive gift certificates for Alice Aesthetic Center, courtesy of Miss Ellen Lizzie. Miss Earth, Air, Water and Fire will receive gift products from Bones. Miss Earth will receive round trip business class ticket or any USA destination of Korean Air, courtesy of Korean Air. Miss Joy Lin will give original crystals and precious stones that could bring luck to the Miss Earth, Air, Water and Fire winners. Miss Earth Air Water and Fire 2005 will receive sets of diamond and pearl jewelries from Matos Jewelry, providing personalized service for your fine jewelry needs and specialized in wedding and engagement rings. The winners will receive 
receive trophies made by Newville Glass Supply and Etching Service, specializing in glass trophies, plaques, medals, and glass etching. The new Miss Earth is entitled to travel to any super ferry destination in the country on stay room accommodation and time during her reign. Super Ferry assures all its passengers that as they step on board, the vacation has begun. Da Rampa Ponta Palan, and Sayana, Super Ferry, Hat Trip. Miss Earth will receive 20,000 US dollars from Carousel Productions Incorporated. But the greatest prize that will be awarded to the winner of Miss Earth is the gift of power. The power to make a difference, to be the loving guardian of Mother Earth's beauty and majesty. Last year, when her name was announced as Miss Earth for the year 2004, no one doubted that she was going to be the champion for advocacies and objectives for this prestigious pageant. She became an ambassador of goodwill, presenting and representing the global issues related to Mother Earth. Tonight, we present her to you for the last time, but while her reign as Miss Earth ends tonight, her crusade to fight for equal rights, education, and environmental protection will continue for the rest of her life. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Earth 2004, Priscilla Moreas of Brazil. It was an amazing year, full of great experiences, exciting places, and a lot of new friends. It was a year when I gained wisdom and embraced humanity. It seems like it's a dream. It feels like it happened only yesterday. But all the lessons I learned and all the kindness I felt make this year truly unforgettable. My heart may be crying now, but they are happy tears because life is made of stages. And as I move on, I shall bring with me every warm smile, every love stare, and every kind word you all gave to me I shall live carrying my love for everyone who conquered my heart. I shall walk home with a serene soul and the confidence that I give the best of me. My mission to preserve and take care of the earth shall remain alive all my life and it will come with other titles like a daughter, a future doctor, a future wife and mother, a conscientious citizen and a human being who loves nature. To curse our productions, to my family and friends and to God, my gratitude forever to the new Miss Earth. May you reign with humility, straight, brilliance, and lots of luck. And I wish you would make this experience unforgettable for everybody. To all Filipinos, mahal ko kayo. Muito obrigada a todos, and God bless us. Out of 80, you are four. Chosen ones to remain in the competition. In my eyes, and I'm sure in the eyes of millions of televiewers, you are already winners. But at this point, each one of you is on equal footing. All your previous scores have been erased. We have one final question to ask each one of you. Your answers, together with your overall presence, impact, and beauty, will be the ultimate deciding factors in choosing who this year's Miss Earth will be. I wish you all the best of luck. Let's begin with Miss Dominican Republic, Amel Santana.
Okay, I think we are ready. Your question is, if you are to save only one of the two elements of Mother Nature, water or air, which would you choose and why? Let me repeat. If you are to save only one of these two elements of Mother Nature, water or air, which would you choose and why? Si tuvieses que salvar únicamente un elemento de la madre naturaleza, ¿qué salvarías, el agua o el aire? ¿Qué es más importante? Creo que salvaría los dos, porque... She would say both. Because... Porque ninguno de los dos puede vivir sin él. Por ejemplo, la tierra no puede vivir sin el agua. Y la, el agua no puede vivir sin la tierra. Uh, you cannot have one without the other. The earth cannot live without uh, water, and the air cannot uh, exist without, without uh, water. Y para poder cuidar nuestro planeta, necesitamos de, los, de las dos cosas, el agua y la tierra. Así que las dos debemos de cuidarla lo más que podamos. For this earth to survive, we need both elements, so we have to take care of both elements, air and water. Thank you very much, Miss Dominican Republic. Now let's call on Miss Serbia and Montenegro, Giovanna Marjanovic. Ah, now you have an interpreter. Your question. If you are to save only one of these two elements of Mother Nature, water or air, which would you choose and why? When you were able to choose the two elements of the planet Earth, water or water, which would you choose? Thank you. First, I would choose water. Uh, I would first choose the water. Zato što mislim da je čovek post da je Bog stvorio čoveka i da je sve nekako potiče od vode i da je to prvo što moramo sačuvati. Um uh, God made zato što mislim da je Bog stvorio čoveka. Verujem da je God made uh, human. Verujem da je Bog stvorio čoveka i da sve potiče. And that everything comes from uh, God od vode i and stok. from the water i da je to osnovno što moramo da poštujemo i da sačuvamo and that's the basic thing that we have to respect and save thank you okay thank you very much thank you miss serbia montenegro let's call on miss poland the question again if you are to save only one of these two elements of mother nature water or air which would you choose and why jeżeli musiałbyś wybrać z dwóch elementów wody albo powietrza który próbowałabyś ratować i dlaczego jeszcze raz jeżeli miałabyś wybierać z dwóch elementów wody i powietrza który byś wybrała możesz wybrać oba I, y, który, y, I dlaczego? Uh, jeśli miałabym wybierać między wodą a ogniem, a powiedziałabym, że nie odpowiem na to pytanie, ponieważ y, i woda i ogień potrzebne nam są do życia. Uh, if I have to choose between the two, uh, both of them are needed for us to live. Woda, żeby żyć. Uh, Water for everything to live. Uh, ogień, uh, by ogrzać nas wszystkich. Powietrze, po to, żeby oddychać. Powietrze, po to, żeby oddychać. Uh... Yeah. Powietrze, żeby oddychać. We have to have the air so we can breathe. Co jeszcze chciałem zrobić? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Miss Poland. These girls cannot choose. Venezuela, Alexander Brown, Valde. Miss Venezuela, I'm going to ask you a very difficult question. If you are to save only one of these two elements of Mother Nature, water or air, which would you choose and why? Si tuvieses que salvar a un elemento de la madre tierra, aire o agua, ¿cuál salvarías y por qué? ¿Cuál es más importante? Yo considero que el aire, porque es el que nos ha dado la vida, es lo que respiramos y. She considers air because it's what gives us life and it's what we breathe. Todos los elementos son importantes y, bueno, considero que el aire es uno de los más importantes puesto que nos da vida. Although all the, all the, the four elements are important, she considers air to be the most important because it gives us life. Salamapo. Thank you very much, Miss Venezuela. Who among our top four finalists were emerged as Miss Earth 2005? The announcement, coronation, and the first precious moments of victory coming up when we return. After a year-long search, we now have reached the final stage of the journey. The moment we've all been waiting for, the moment that will change the life of one of these women. But first, have you made up your mind? Have you made your choices? Yes, I have. Ladies, are you ready? <laughs> well, Mr. Now Ramon Dizon of SGB is now going to hand us the envelope. Okay, now first we will announce Miss Fire. So how are you feeling, ladies? I, I would think they'd be extremely nervous right now. I would be excited. All right. Miss Fire is none other than Miss Serbia and Montenegro. Giovanna Marjanovic. Presenting the award are Ms. Pichi Venerason, Vice President and Project Director of Carousel Productions, together with Ms. Katarina Svensson, Ms. Earth 2001 winner from Denmark. Our next award, we shall call her Miss Water and this lovely woman. Who is this year's Miss Water? She is none other than Miss. Poland. Miss Poland, Katarzyna Borowicz. Presenting the award are Miss Georgi Felix Zelarte, Vice President for External Relations of Carousel Productions. Together with the CEO and General Manager of the Philippine Tourism Authority, Mr. Robert Dean Barbers. Only two remain, and one of you will inherit the prestigious and very important title of Miss Earth, but I shall first announce Miss Air. Now the first name I will announce is Miss Air. Girls, I want you to hold hands, the two of you. When you announce Miss Air, automatically the name that I will call out is the new Miss Earth. So ladies, please step forward. You can hold hands, wave to the crowd. Who do we want to be Miss Earth? Yeah. Who do you want to be Miss Earth? Yeah. OK, 
Okay. Miss Air is... Dominican Republic! And uh, Miss Earth 2005 is Miss Venezuela! Presenting the award for Miss Air 2005 are Miss Lorraine Shook, Executive Vice President of Carousel Productions, and Mr. Eugene Temesis. And presenting the award for Miss Earth 2005 are Mr. Noel Lorenzana, Managing Director for Home and Personal Care of Unilever Philippines, and Mr. Ramon Monzon, President of Carousel Productions, and Miss Priscilla Mireles, Miss Earth 2004 winner from Brazil. Congratulations to all the winners and to all of our lovely women of Miss Earth 2005. I'm Amanda Griffin, bidding you all good night and thank you. We hope you enjoyed your entire stay here in the Philippines. And to all our viewers all over the earth, on behalf of Carousel Productions and ABS-CBN, this is Ariel Ureta. Thank you for celebrating the beauty of the earth with us. And we shall see you in Santiago, Chile for Miss Earth 2006. Good night.